Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. My name is Lede and I'm a stay at home working mom of four. And in this video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I show you a typical day in the life of a working, stay at home, now homeschooling because of the coronavirus mom. And I will also let you guys get a glimpse into my fly lady routines and um, just how I'm keeping up with everything. So if you're interested, then you definitely wanna stay tuned. For those of you that are new to the channel, on the first clip you saw that I was working. And after I got done working, I just went ahead and jumped into some of my routines. What you see me doing here is a variation of the weekly home blessing. It's a strategy on Fly Lady that helps us keep up with some of our weekly cleaning. I've broken up my weekly home blessing and instead of doing my weekly home blessing tasks in one day, I break it up and I do a little bit every day. So on Monday I handle sheets and although it's not technically a weekly home blessing tasks task I also handle like wiping down my toilets and stuff like that since I don't do daily swish and swipes I just clean them on Monday so you just see me quickly doing that my husband helps me bring the babies out and get their diaper changed and get them ready for breakfast and so I'm just greeting everybody And for those of you that are new to my channel, I have twin baby girls and I also have two older boys. And with everybody being home during the coronavirus, I have been, I feel like, on the cleaning marathon of my life. And so here you see me working through some of my morning routines, which includes emptying the dishwasher. I think I decided to take a break here and just start on breakfast and then I'll resume my routine. Pocket of time queen. I'm gonna go find a load of laundry while that's getting heated up. And then by the time I come back, it shouldn't even be popping. It shouldn't even be on and popping yet. So I'll be right back. Do you remember when I said cleaning marathon of my life? I actually wasn't joking. Um, yeah, like I just feel like our home has just been crazier than normal. And here you can see what it looks like before I have a chance to do my morning routine. And the reason that it looks as bad is because I have these twin baby girls and they insist on pulling everything out of my drawers and out of my cabinets all the time. I'm so tired of cleaning up after them. And you wouldn't believe I clean this stuff like every day. So what load of laundry should I tackle today? I think I'll do towels. Towels it is. Um, any more towels? Any more towels? Can I consider this to be a towel? It's a robe. Maybe I'll put it in there too. I'm gonna take this, throw this in the wash, and then go back to making breakfast. Oh, what do you know? Another towel. I don't know how to stuff in there, but you can join the party. See, didn't miss a beat. While I continue to wait, I'm gonna work on some hot spots. I don't know why these random socks keep making their way into my kitchen. How does this happen? I don't know. Hot spots are areas where people drop stuff and you do a hot spot fire drill to put everything away. I think I found four socks on my counter today. All right, while the family's eating breakfast, I'm gonna try to work through my morning routine. So I'm gonna room rescue this whole little area. Then I'm going to change the sheets because today's Monday and wipe down our potty. You would think that when you're on a cleaning program and you're on a solid cleaning routine that your house would look perfect all the time, but that is certainly not the case for me. Um, I just feel like I'm constantly battling my twins wanting to pull everything out of every drawer and every cabinet. I don't understand this whole sock drama. I keep finding socks everywhere. But I am so grateful to be on a program that just helps me tackle this stuff in a way that feels bite-sized and manageable. Room rescued. All right, so we're gonna move into the next room, which is my master bedroom. Once again, you guys, another sock. Why are there so many socks? I'm just guessing. 
one thing I've been having to get used to is the fact that I feel like my house always looks crazy, even though I'm still doing my fly lady r routines, even if I'm actually doing more than what I was doing before the coronavirus. And so I'm just re really having to give myself grace in that department and just allow myself to be okay with it because I know that I'm showing up and doing what I should be doing. The only reason I have to deal with mess like this is because I have twins. They insist every day that they go through my drawers and pull stuff out. And uh, so, yeah, having my morning routine is just the best way to handle it. Not being too picky about how it's arranged in the drawers. Literally, I'm just about to grab the stuff and shove it back. And I will work the best that I can to keep it decluttered. But I cannot stress too much on how beautiful it looks inside the drawer because like they're just gonna come and drag it back out later. So when they get older, I can do that. But for now, all this dirty laundry and voila. It's like it never happened. And of course, random sock. Um, I didn't throw this. This is the trash I have. The room is pulled back together. Um, I'll change the girls' sheets whenever I wash their next load of laundry. Let me just wipe down this potty with a Clorox wipe and be on my way, girl. Why are you looking at me? I'm talking. Yes, you gotta get that workout. All right, so now we're getting ready to transition into some homeschool time. I like to start doing homeschool after I do my morning routines. And just to kind of help myself stay organized this week, I decided to reprint a copy of my um, block schedule. I just feel like it just helps me control my time throughout the day a little bit more and track like miniature goals as I'm going throughout the day. So I have that set up for myself. And here I'm just helping my boys work through some of their assignments and get through the curriculum. I feel like I really actually enjoy teaching my boys from home. I like that I can give them personalized attention. Sometimes I feel like they just learn all this stuff at school and I really have no idea what's going on in the classroom. And so it's been really nice to be more involved. The only problem that I have is that I'm supposed to do this and keep up with very energetic toddlers at the same time. It's very challenging. And my girls have been getting away with so much more than what they are normally able to get, get away with. Um, you'll see in just a moment that they have been getting into my cabinets and pulling everything out. Um, sometimes we have a problem with that, but it's been like way more since my attention is so divided, but we are surviving. We're getting through it. And, um, uh, one day I'm just going to look back on this and laugh, but for now I'm just like, crap, my, my house always looks crazy. No matter what I do, it just always looks crazy. All right, y'all, just checking in. That's the dance that you make when you realize that your kid's homework load is significantly lighter than last week. Ooh, you see some fish? Yes, which means we're gonna be done for real, for real, probably in the next 20 minutes. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so my kids have some work that they're supposed to be working on. So I'm going to just take a moment to start working on lunch or whatever. The babies are still resting. Or they're supposed to be resting. I don't know if they're actually sleeping. I don't hear them. So I'm going to just try to start working on lunch and stuff. Um, so that whenever they wake up, it'll be food will be ready. Everything will be ready. And it won't be as crazy as it was this morning. So here you see me working through my midday routine. This is a routine that I had to add in order to cope with the coronavirus quarantine. Basically I just swap out the laundry, I swap out the dishes, and I spend some time, about 15 minutes, picking up the clutter from the morning. 
And I don't know, have, have you guys been struggling with all the extra paper clutter from doing homeschool? Because paper clutter is real, y'all. This is not even half of the work that my kids have done. It's just the work that made it into that basket. I have a whole binder of more stuff. So it feels like so freeing just to be able to like chuck it. Y'all hear that? It is the sound of eating children. It's quiet, which means I can have a pocket of time, pocket of time, pocket of time, pocket of time, which means I'll come over to my handy dandy checklist for today. Um, these are some things I, I would like to see get done today. And I was trying to, I wanted to get them done during nap time, but that didn't happen. So I'm a little bit behind schedule. It's supposed to be done in between the hours of 10 and 12, but homeschool kind of makes that hour not really usable anymore. So that block. So I don't know. I might have to like change up my time zone. My time blocks a little. We'll see. I'll just play around with it this week and see what I, what I need to do. But I need to send out some messages to some girls on a collaboration that I'm doing. <laughs> Collaboration's a secret, but you guys will see what I'm talking about when you see it. All right, so I went ahead and contacted all three of my moms, so that's done, woohoo! I was also able to work through my budget for the week um, during the time where my kids were eating. I was not able to work on the walls that day, so it ended up getting pushed to a different day. And here, I'm just taking a moment to chill. Got my babies here with their spaghetti stained shirts, but you know, it's all good in the neighborhood. Okay, I have a serious question. I need to know who else be singing a baby's nursery rhyme songs like it's a top hit on the radio. I got it. I By the looks of this cup, you should already know what time it is. It's coffee nap time. I'm so grateful that with my husband being home that I get to take one of these pretty often. Here you can see me complaining about how tired I am and how excited I am to sit down and drink some coffee. My hair is just, um, I'm gonna let my hair speak for me. Yes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and drink some coffee. And um, tonight I have to record a podcast episode with my friend Sarah. So as I was drinking my cup of coffee, I decided to use this time to start thinking of some podcast episode ideas for that evening. Um, my The way my brain works is I'm very structured. And so these are some notes that I've taken in the past to just help me organize my thoughts. And so whenever sarah and i record a podcast episode because we're both moms we're both busy she goes to school i work um we typically have to be pretty efficient with our time and so by preparing our episodes in advance or at least having a good idea it just helps us be able to plan out and record a podcast episode in one night which is really helpful when um you your time is very tight or very limited and of course, I came up here to get creative and I forgot a pen or a pencil. Who else wonders if it's a punishment to take a break as a mom? You know, because you always come back and it just seems like there's more mess than when you left. I'm so grateful that I was able to get in that coffee nap. Yes, girl. Okay. That coffee nap was everything mommy needed and more. Yeah. So I feel really good. Um, I feel like I'm in a good mood. I'm happy that I was able to think of a podcast episode. Sarah likes it. So we're still on to record that tonight. Um, so we'll be doing that in the next two and a half hours. So until then, we're gonna do baths. And for dinner, we're gonna do leftovers. Boop, boop. Doing. And then after we do baths, we will start doing some room rescues and picking up and getting ready for bedtimes. Right? I 
really hope I'm not sounding like a broken record, but you guys know what time it is. It's that five minute room rescue time. Room rescue. <laughs> Looks great to me. Room rescue. A part of my nighttime routine is folding that laundry that I've been working on throughout the day. I also like to empty the dishwasher. Who else has to hurry up and do their dishes because their babies like to drag everything out on the floor? And here we're having leftovers, so I'm just getting everyone's food ready. All right, so we have the kids, they're eating. Luckily we did leftovers, so that makes things so much easier, so much faster. Um, so room rescues have been done for, I usually room rescue my master bathroom, my master bedroom. I room rescue here in the kitchen. So the kitchen is looking pretty decent. This is like the main area that I care about. Like I could literally, no, I can go to bed with this kitchen looking crazy, but I feel a little better if the kitchen is looking great. So um, once the kids are done eating, I just have this room area to rescue. Usually the babies leave a pretty substantial mess on the floor. So I will pick that up and room rescue in here. And then my boys have to tackle this fun project over here. Basically, they need to grab all the toys. There's toys back there. And condense them over there into those two baskets. And then our home will be ready for bedtime. And it's good enough for us. It's good enough for me. Um, for me to feel like, oh, okay. So. I want you to hear, oh, I forgot to switch and swipe. I'm supposed to be switching and swiping. Let's switch and swipe while we're talking. So, um, yeah, like when I do my nighttime routine, this is not the time for me to swoop through the entire home. I just hit the high traffic areas. But, um, and I also pick areas that are the most important to me. Um, my home is like 3,500 square feet. And this would take me too long to feel like the whole house needs to be perfect. So that's the beauty of being a messy person is like, if it's not looking like the best upstairs, I don't care. Like I have the areas that are important to me and as long as I take care of what's important, it's gonna be all right. So here I'm just doing another five minute room rescue. My kids have just finished eating dinner. So I'm just cleaning up the mess that they left behind. And I've lost count of how many socks I've picked up throughout the day. It is 6.39, so the babies will go down in about 20 minutes. Why you got your hand up in the air like that? Hello? Why you got your hand up in the air? <laughs> so the babies will go down in about 20 minutes. And me and the boys, we're gonna watch TikTok videos until I, I don't know. They go to bed at 7.30, so we can watch TikTok videos forever that long when they want. And then my meeting is at 7.40, so. Um, once the babies go down for bed, the boys will pick up this mess. Boys did a pretty decent job. There's a bag of wipes there, but okay. Guess found all the toys? Yes, I think so. Wait! You found a toy, good. Yes, this is how we get it nice and empty up in here. Thank you, I see a pillow. Y'all just left us, you gonna leave this pillow here like this? Two pillows, a balloon. I see some eggs. Eggs? The boys have been doing a really great job helping me pick up toys and random things off the floor after the babies go to bed. And so after we get done with that, then we just watch TikTok videos. So. I'm here, we're getting ready to record our podcast. Everybody say hi to Sarah. Make sure you guys go check her out on the glorious, wait, you changed your name to Sarah McGlory. And we are on the Mom Fluence podcast on Spotify, Apple podcast? Is that, is that the official word, Apple podcast or iTunes podcast? Apple Podcasts. Oh, oh my gosh, they can't even hear you. I'm just acting like they can hear you. I know y'all can't hear her. Okay, Apple Podcasts and Podbean. 
Thank you so much for watching this day in the life. If you like videos like this, then definitely make sure you subscribe on your way out. And if you want to stay in touch, then definitely feel free to follow me on Instagram where I post a little more often and I also uh, talk to people in the DMs every day. I hope that you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.